What is up everyone? Today we're in Katakawo, which is a beautiful little town in southwest Greece along the Mediterranean. I'm just going to start off by micro fishing here in this marina. There's not much fishing access, I don't even know if I'm allowed to fish here, but I'm going to start off trying to catch whatever these little guys are. We're going to head out to the marina and try to catch more fish. Surely there's tons of minnows. I already see some go beads. Tiny little scorpion fish. I don't even know if I'm able to get this on camera. He ate it already. So I'm not sure if he'll eat it again, but we'll sure as well try. Come on, buddy. Look, he's looking at it. Got him. Wow. That is the smallest scorpion fish I have ever seen. Look at that thing. Not sure if I should put him in my hand because I'm sure it's nice and venomous, but. Right there, right there, is a little Madeira rockfish. It's a scorpion fish, and yes, they're venomous. Not gonna kill you venomous, but still venomous. That was likely my first Madeira rockfish of the trip. I haven't seen too many. I've only seen about one other and wasn't able to get him to eat. Oh, sorry, buddy. Ah, he's fine, he's swimming away. Miniature little gobies. Oh, there's one. They blend in so well. I see one of them. Oh, I spooked the other one. Great. Let's see if we can catch this other one. Oh, got right over his head on accident. This one may have actually swam away. Oh wait, no, he's right there. All this for a goby that I've probably caught before. Got him. Just the hands. Oh, it's a blenny. Oh, it's probably a rusty blenny. Ugh, I've probably caught this one before. That's annoying. You know, maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised and it's something different, but Odds of that, probably pretty low. All right, I spot another tiny scorpion fish, which I'm gonna try to catch without spooking. Got it. Very cool little guys. I'll try to get a better hold on them so it doesn't spike me. All right, sweet. Thanks for biting, little dude. So, from what I've been told, the Mediterranean rainbow wrasse was split. So, when I was in Portugal, I caught the Atlantic variety, and now I'm going to try and catch the Mediterranean variety. Oh, there's, oh, I had a really nice ornate wrasse. Didn't even feel him bite, but there we go again. Oh my gosh. They just won't stay on the hook, but look at that thing, dude. That's ridiculously pretty. That might honestly be one of the more pretty ones I've ever caught. Sweet. Thanks for biting, dude.
All right, guys, we're gonna switch to fishing for bream because micro fishing's cool, but I like to catch some bigger stuff. So we're gonna put on a size 16 hook now instead of size, however small these are. And we're gonna put on pieces of lugworm. Hopefully we will catch some bigger stuff, but if not, we'll try several different types of rigs. All right, so we're just running a basic split shot rig. I don't know if you can see the size 16 hook there. The rig is jacked up a little bit. And then we're just gonna take a piece of lugworm and use like an inch piece, if even. This is what I was told by my boy Plato. He just uses a couple split shots and size 16 hook and he says, this is key for the bream. We're gonna stick to that rig see if it pans out for us at this new spot hours and hours away from where we just were probably gonna get snagged but we will see sit down and soak it in There's some nibbles. Oh, missed it. Oh, came back. I don't know what the heck this is. Probably, it feels like a goby kind of. Instant bites, they're all tiny though. Oh, had him there for a sec. For all I know, it's probably just tiny ornate ass again. Jeez. They're tiny, but I feel like I can still hook one. Oh, I got one. Tiny little one. What do we got? Oh, it's, oh, no way. No way. No way. No way. Guys, I think this is... This is it. Oh. Guys, I'm pretty sure this is the Boops Boops. The legendary Boops Boops that everybody talks about. It pooped on me a little bit, but... I think that might be it. Won't stop moving. Yeah. All right, well, I just figured they were tiny little like white sea bream. That's awesome. I'm assuming there's a whole little school of them. Oh, I got one. Oh, a different species. We got uh, an annular sea bream. Look at that. Whole species, whole school of different species of bream out there. Nice. The split shot rig is magnificent. I was using high low rigs and was not catching anything. And then I was shown the way of this and boom, another fish. There we go. There's another, it looks like a boop boops. Oh my gosh, they, they will not stop moving. Ah. Mr. Bogue. All right, rather than overhandle him trying to get a picture, 
We'll let him go. There we go, guys. That's awesome. We figured him out here, too. Gigantic little annular. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we got him. Absolute giant. Biggest annular Sebring you'll ever see in your life. All right, guys, after about 10,000 tiny more annular Sebring and tons of eight changes due to losing bait, we're gonna walk out on this little jetty, see if we can find some deeper water. See if we can find deeper water, maybe some bigger fish, but from what I imagine is the depth is not gonna change much and the small fish are not going to change much. But I'm seeing all sorts of cool fish around. So, take a little bit of a walk. See if we can't land anything cool. Oh, Chromis. Some Mediterranean Chromis down there, which is. Oh, there's a bunch of them. So, there's some Mediterranean Chromis swimming around, which are like these little damselfish species. Yeah, oh my god, they're everywhere. I'm gonna try and catch one. I've never caught a damselfish of any species. There's a bunch of them around, so... It'd be smart for me to try and catch one, that's for sure. Okay. Come on, come to Papa Chromis. Guaranteed the little ornate wrasse is gonna get to it first. Oh, here he comes. Got him. Yes! No! Dang it. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, it's Mediterranean parrotfish. There's all sorts all sorts of cool stuff here. Let's I don't know where the chromos went, but let's see if we can get the parrotfish. Oh my gosh, dude, that's so cool. That's just a big parrotfish. No, don't go away. Bro, there's damselfish everywhere. Eat it. It's funny how that one chromis was super willing to eat, and these other ones are being a lot more finicky. I, can, I'm, I, can, I bet if I really try, I can count like 20 scorpion fish just standing right here. I see one on like every rock. Oh my gosh, look at this moray. That is incredible. I need to catch one. Look at that moray staring right at me. That's so cool. Oh. That sucks that I'm not ready to fish for that thing. Because I know as soon as I leave, he's leaving too. Maybe, maybe he will come back. It left. Where did this thing go? That sucks, dude. Oh, is that its head poking out right there? That thing was gigantic. Of course, all the chromas come poking out now. That sucks. Well, I'm gonna put the Tanago on, if I can even find it again, because I'm really bad with remembering where I put stuff. Oh, I can see it. 
We're gonna put the snoggle on. We are going. Okay, Tanago is going back on. Wait a minute. Is that a <gasps> lionfish? Oh, that is incredible. Oh my gosh, I have to catch that. Dude, there's all sorts of crazy stuff over here. Please eat the swim bait, dude. Please eat the swim bait. Look at those things. Where's their heads? No, he doesn't want it. What can I catch a lionfish on? Dude, if you were a lionfish, what would you eat? No painted comber, that's not what I want though. Maybe he wants a lugworm? Good, how are you? Yep. Nope, but there's a lot of big fish around. I saw a huge moray eel, and I saw a I saw lionfish. It's it's I, well I'm trying to catch these fish that are sitting in front of me. So then I see them, they're being a, but it's too windy, so I can't. It's too oh wait I got one I got one oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh I got one it's one that I've been trying to get for like the entire time. All right I'll see ya. Okay goodbye. My dad's out here distracting me with a phone call and here we go my first chrome mediterranean chromus is a species of damselfish their scientific name is just chromus chromus super cool first damselfish species ever i just texted my friends that i was going to give up on the damselfish fishing and nope just got one awesome little fish all right see you buddy oof all right he'll be fine <laughs> i accidentally threw him into the rock he flopped out when i was trying to get him out but he'll be fine there he goes Okay, now we're gonna fish for bream. That's what we're gonna do. The sun's setting, the bream bite should be pretty good right now. Maybe we'll see some other species, but as of right now, there's not too many lifers that I can catch along the rocks unless there's a moray or something similar. So bream fishing it is, unless we see something cool. Oh, there we go, we got one. The, about the 10,000th annular today. There we go. Another little angler. They're everywhere. The fish that I didn't even feel on the hook. A little annular. Oh, two banded. 
Didn't even feel him. I wonder why they're called two banded sea bream. Maybe it's because of the, the four bands, right? Yep. Thanks for biting, dude. Little fish on, boys. Did I lose it? No, I didn't. It's just tiny. Come here. Fighting like a sea room. See what species. Two banded. Wonder where all the big ones are. I don't know. Boom, fish on, boy. Tiny. Oh, I think I lost it. I lost it. Shoot. Oh, no, I didn't. It's just a small. Oh, my gosh. There it is. That's an auxiliary, I think. What the heck is with its eye? Well, I believe this is an auxiliary sea bream. If not, it's a carne. It's one of the other ones. This is another new species. Before we're catching a uh, black spot, and despite that one having a black spot, I don't think it's a black spot. This is like a different species. I'm not really sure what it is, but. I'm not really sure what's up with its eye, though. Alright, guys, it's getting really dark. I think I'm gonna turn the GoPro off and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I have a couple hours to fish, so I'll fish then and maybe we'll catch something. But without further ado, I'll see you guys then.